जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल साइंस बिगिन्स विद हाइपोथिस और एन एजुकेटेड गेस एन एक्सपेरिमेंट आर द प्राइमरी वे टू डिटर्मिन इफ दैट हाइपोथिस इज करेक्ट और इन करेक्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ टेस्टिंग प्रोवाइड द डेटा नीडेड टू सपोर्ट और रिफ्यूट अ हाइपोथिस लीडिंग टू अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ अ टॉपिक विद दैट स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर in this particular experiment we are supposed to convert a given galvanometer whose resistance and figure of merit would be known to us into a voltmeter of a given range and then we will verify the same right so basically a galvanometer it can be converted into a voltmeter by connecting a high resistance wire right so let's concentrate on the circuit diagram suppose this is a galvanometer whose figure of merit and whose resistance is known to us so g is the resistance of the given galvanometer now suppose it needs to be converted into a voltmeter of range 0 to 3 volt so for that what to do is a very high resistance wire is to be connected in series to this galvanometer coil so this is a high resistance wire we will denote it by capital letter r is a high resistance wire and students the value of r is to be adjusted in such a manner that a safe value of current flows through the galvanometer which is ig ig is the current for which the galvanometer shows full scale deflection so basically the series grouping of this high resistance wire and the galvanometer it will constitute a voltmeter and i must state that a voltmeter is a very very high resistance device an ideal voltmeter poses infinite resistance so the series grouping of high resistance wire and galvanometer constitutes a voltmeter right and suppose the range of the voltmeter is v 0 to 3 volt over your v is 3 volt right so current flowing through this grouping series grouping of resistance and galvanometer is ig and it is given by voltage across the series grouping of r and g which is v divided by net resistance these two are connected in series therefore net resistance is r plus g isn't it or rearrange the terms we get r plus g is equal to v divided by ig therefore the value of the high resistance wire which is to be connected in series with the given current coil that's given by v divided by ig minus g so this is students the mathematical formula for the high resistance wire which needs to be connected in series to the given galvanometer so as to convert it into a voltmeter of a given range here we have considered the range to be 0 to 3 volt now students in order to perform this experiment the connections it should be neat clean and tight and the resistance of the galvanometer which is capital g it has to be found by half deflection method and the figure of merit which is capital k that can also be easily determined and then we have to make use of this formula right which will give us the value of capital r a galvanometer is a device used to detect small electric current in a circuit it has a moderate resistance and has a very small current carrying capacity The resistance of a galvanometer can be found by using half deflection method. The circuit diagram for this method is as shown. First and foremost, key K1 is inserted while key K2 is open, and deflection theta is determined with a suitable value of resistance. Now let us take the first reading. As we are aware that a source of EMF is required, so we are applying an EMF of 2 volt, and we are introducing a resistance of 4000 ohm from the resistance box r we need to ensure that key k2 is open while key k1 is closed now you can check the deflection the galvanometer it is showing a deflection of 20 divisions now we need to insert key k2 also and without changing the value of capital r we need to adjust the value of capital s that is the resistance from the another resistance box by taking out the shunt resistance s equals to 70 ohm 
we can easily check that the deflection of the galvanometer is 10 divisions. Now let's concentrate on the second reading. Here again, the EMF is considered to be 2 volt, that is same as was in the first reading. And again, key K2, it should be open, while key K1 should be closed. Now, taking a total resistance of 5500 ohm, we need to see the deflection of the galvanometer, which is 15 divisions. Now we will repeat this step. Again, the key K2 is closed and the value of shunt resistance S is to be adjusted in such a manner that the deflection the galvanometer reduces to exactly half the value obtained in the previous step. That is, we need to obtain a deflection of 7.5 divisions. So for that, we can easily check that the shunt resistance is to be 73 ohm. As you can notice, now the deflection in the galvanometer is 7.5 divisions. Now for the final and the third reading, we need to repeat the above steps. Key K2 is open while key K1 remain closed. We need to change the value of capital R and note the galvanometer deflection again. So in this case, if we apply a resistance of 8500 ohm, then the deflection obtained in the galvanometer is found to be 10 divisions. Now in the very next step, key K2 is inserted and the resistance from the shunt resistance box is so adjusted that the deflection in the galvanometer becomes 5 division. So we can see for S equals to 74 ohm, the deflection is 5 divisions. After recording the observations in a table, we get the value of the resistance of the galvanometer, which is obtained to be 73.28 ohm. And we can also obtain the value of figure of merit of the given galvanometer. The resistance of the galvanometer, capital G, it's obtained to be 73.28 ohm. This we have determined using half deflection method. So the value of the galvanometer resistance that's 73.28 ohm. Figure of merit which is the uh, current which is required to produce one division of deflection that we have obtained to be 2.39 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 5 and its SI unit is ampere per division. So this is the figure of merit of the galvanometer. And students, the number of divisions in the galvanometer, that is, which I have made use of during my experiment, it is 30. 30 is the total number of divisions in the galvanometer on either side of the zero. So that's given to be 30. So the current for which the galvanometer shows full scale deflection, that is IG, it would be equal to total number of divisions in the galvanometer multiplied by figure of merit. So it comes out to be n is 30 and the figure of merit is 2.39 into 10 is to the minus 5. Right? So it comes out to be 7.17 into 10 is to the minus 4 ampere. So this is the maximum value of current for which the galvanometer will show full scale deflection, maximum value of current, which can be made to pass to the galvanometer, right? So it would be n into k, so that is 7.17 into 10 to minus 4 ampere. Now students, this galvanometer having this Ig value is to be converted into a voltmeter of range 0 to 3 volt, right? For, the, for this, this high value of resistance is to be connected in series with the galvanometer and the range is this one. V which is 0 to 3 volts. So over here range of voltmeter is 0 to 3 volts. So here V would be considered to be 3 volt. So students, now using this formula which we have obtained, the high value of resistance which is to be connected in series with the galvanometer coil so as to convert it into a voltmeter is given by this formula, right? So substituting this value of 
V I G and G over here. What do we get is V is three. I G it is seven point one seven into ten is to minus four. Minus G is the galvanometer resistance, which is found to be seventy three point two eight. So students, you can solve it, and what we get is. Here we can write it as three divided by seven point one seven into ten raised to power four minus seventy three point two eight. So further, after solving it further, what we get is uh, this will give us about four one eight four minus seventy three point two eight. So students, the high value of resistance. Is found to be four thousand one hundred ten point seven two ohm, right? So it can be approximately considered to be four thousand one hundred eleven ohm. So this is the first result obtained. This high value of resistance is to be connected in series with this given galvanometer so as to convert it into a voltmeter of range zero to three volt. This is the circuit diagram for the verification. Right, this is the source. This is the one-way key, and this is a rheostat. It's a variable resistor. Its value of resistance can be changed, so it's a rheostat. And this is the obtained voltmeter. Right, just now we have calculated the value of capital R. It's the high value of resistors which is to be connected in series with the galvanometer coil. Right, so the series grouping of high value of resistors and G it constitutes a voltmeter. Right, and For verification, this is the voltmeter which we will be requiring to connect it, so as to just verify the result. So, for the verification, we need to connect a battery, a key, and a rheostat in series, and we need to connect a voltmeter in parallel with this rheostat. The voltmeter is connected in parallel to the rheostat, right? And also, we need to connect the galvanometer with this uh, value of high resistance wire, capital R, in series. Across the rheostat, as shown in the figure. This, this is the observation table, right? So we are aware the range of the voltmeter which we need to obtain by connecting a high value of resistors to the given galvanometer is considered to be zero to three volt. So here we will consider V to be three volt, and the uh, galvanometer which we are using is having total number of thirty divisions, I mean, on either side of the zero of the galvanometer. So one division of the galvanometer will give Three, that is the converted voltmeter, which is three range of the voltmeter. That's three volt divided by total number of divisions. So per division of the galvanometer will give a reading of point one volt. So one division of galvanometer is equivalent to zero point one volt, right? So now let's check the reading. The circuit diagram is shown in order to convert. A given galvanometer into a voltmeter of a given range. The connections should be neat, clean, and tight. For verification, connect a battery, a key, and a rheostat in series. Also, we need to connect a voltmeter in parallel with the rheostat. We need to take the readings of the voltmeter and the galvanometer by changing the resistance from rheostat. By using a resistance of 4,111 ohm, the galvanometer showing a deflection of 13 divisions, while correspondingly the voltmeter shows a reading of 1.3 volt. The steps are again repeated. Again, take the readings of the voltmeter and the galvanometer by changing the resistance from rheostat. Now we can easily find that the deflection. Of the galvanometer is 11 divisions, and corresponding the voltmeter reads 1.1 volt. Again, by changing the value of resistance through the rheostat, the third reading can also be taken. Corresponding to a deflection of seven divisions, the voltmeter shows a reading of 0.7 volt. Yes. These are the various readings which we obtained. In the first case, the voltmeter reads 1.3 volt, and the galvanometer gives a deflection of 13 divisions so v dash it would be equal to total number of deflections total divisions multiplied by one division of the galvanometer which is 0.1 volt so 
13 multiplied by 0 0.1 so it will be equal to 1.3 volt so the converted voltmeter and the actual voltmeter they give the same reading so the difference is zero so the first observation is verified right in the second observation uh, corresponding to a deflection of 11 divisions in the galvanometer the voltmeter reads 1.1 volt now students 11 divisions in the galvanometer it means that the voltage reading in the galvanometer would be number of divisions in the galvanometer multiplied by one division of the galvanometer that is 0 0.1 so it would be 1.1 volt so again you can see the difference in the actual voltmeter and the converted voltmeter is the same the reading in both the cases are same so again the difference is v minus v dash is zero and in the third scenario this was the reading obtained the galvanometer reading in divisions that's obtained to be seven divisions right corresponding to 0.7 volt so v dash would be equal to the deflection of the galvanometer that is seven divisions multiplied by one division of galvanometer which is equivalent to 0.1 volt so it also reads 0.7 volt so here again there is no difference between the galvanometer reading and the voltmeter reading so this result is verified so students we have verified the fact that by connecting in series a very high resistance wire of uh, 4111 ohm we can convert the galvanometer into a voltmeter of range 0 to 3 volt and through this observation table it's been verified the reading in both the cases found to be same so the difference is zero so students that concludes this experiment i hope you have understood the experiment and the concepts involved so please do this particular experiment and activity in your respective physics lab do recommend my videos and subscribe it